Welcome to the first ever Wholesome Direct, a celebration of wholesome games. Oh my god, can we please stop this? Something I've seen in the last five or so years is the rise of performative wholesomeness within our collective internet virgin sphere. Slowly chipping away at my patience until it reached a breaking point last month when I saw the Wholesome Direct, or to put it in adult terms, don't worry, nothing here will challenge you in any way possible. This is when I snapped, being surrounded by 50 heckin' cute pastel soup frog games was my Joker origin story. Cause trying to explain the concept of gentrified wholesomeness feels like I should be in a psych ward to be honest. I love living in the 21st century, it's fucking great dude. The reason I'm making this video is cause the direct itself kinda reminded me on how big the market for all this crap is and I just, I can't take it anymore, I, I need to let it out somehow. I've been seeing through this shit ever since petting the dog became a genuine marketing strategy instead of what it should have been, which is a nice little game feature that a developer wanted to add. You just know that some poor sap in the AAA industry lost a weekend with their family because their boss saw the petting the dog Twitter account and went, hmm, we need that in our game. And the worst part is it probably works when people actually heard of the whatever crap game I'm talking about because you can pet the doggo in it. Woo, yippee! There's so many things nowadays that latch onto this vague notion of wholesomeness without thinking any further beyond the basic concept of vapid escapism. And this shit goes beyond all ages entertainment and straight into this is for kids and adult children. Like please, explain to me in great detail the difference between Seal World and Thomas the Tank Engine. I'd love to hear it after you're done drinking green tea that makes you shit yourself from your cottagecore sippy cup. Then there was stuff like We Are OFK which seemed more like state propaganda to promote a genocide against all Californians than anything else. If anything, you're honest. And when you're honest, saying anything is something special. Oh my god, shut the fuck up! This isn't just a one-man tirade against wholesome games, though. There was some stuff that actually looked pretty good. Frogun looks like if Captain Toad Treasure Tracker went through Mega Man Legends. Pretty cool. And the difference between finding something like this cute and happy and, say, the friendly doggo and his amazing bakery is that one was created by an actual team with ideas, while the other was created by copy and pasting a bunch of Tumblr and Pinterest mood board, telling an AI program to come up with another five easily marketable and digestible pieces pieces of garbage made for the cunts who think remember to stay hydrated is the only mental health advice I'll ever need and not actually my 13th reason why. I don't have a problem with wholesome stuff in general, I mean I am an edgelord who hates people being happy, obviously. I just have a problem with how forced it all is because it's less of an artistic movement or culture and more just money grabbing and pathetic and it's cringe, it's so embarrassing, come on guys. Fellow Zoomers, I come from the future to warn you that this is our heckin' dog moment. This is what future generations are going to be making fun of, the same way we laugh at millennials who still want to boot the snoot of a pupper. Reminds me of that one time Dream the Minecraft meme looked up symptoms of depression for teenagers on Google and then wrote a whole song about it. Except to make your own wholesome game, art or animation, you have to look up instead symptoms of being an annoying cunt. Or you could do what We Rate Dogs did and perform literal market research, cornering the ever-growing bottom feeder market of social media. Studying cutesy phrases and aesthetics until you're earning a six figure salary from making the same joke 20 times a day. This is true by the way, the owner of your favourite doggo account doesn't actually give a crap and is just an ANCAP hero making his money off of you. God isn't real, love is a lie. If you want something wholesome that actually has genuine heart and care put into it, watch Joe Pera Talks With You. That show honestly made me cry from how nice and pleasant everything in it is, but it's also made for adults who live in the real world. What it doesn't do is provide an unattainable fantasy designed to make you forget for just a second that we live in a cruel, oppressive, violent world. Numbing you with chill lo-fi beats to drown out the constant reminder that all your loved ones will die from climate change and the oncoming resource wars. The chances are you will never have that nice rural cottage to live out your days farming and knitting. You were born too late for that. We all were. So instead you choose the childlike substitute. Block your ears and buy another Hello Kitty phone case. Shut yourself off from all forms of reality for a couple of hours and make some more soup and fucking bread! Refuse yourself the full breadth of human emotion. Don't worry, nothing bad can happen here. That's too scary. Instead, crawl back into your little comfort hole instead of going outside and crawling into someone else's. And I get it, having a shallow, factory produced, annoying, milk toast, awful, piece of shit of escapism to block out the noise of the modern world might be just what you need right now. Still doesn't make it not lame as shit though. It's also just so easy to exploit and reproduce. I mean, 
just to show you, I'm gonna create a character in one minute and tell me if it wouldn't fit into like five different wholesome pieces of media you've seen in the last year. Hey everyone, welcome to Art with Ovendal. Today we're making a wholesome frog in under a minute. Let's start the clock. So I drew this frog in about 58 seconds and posted it to Tumblr where it got 100 notes in about six hours. Then I got distracted and drew a fat cock and balls on it and I just laughed for about half an hour. I realized the only effect this video is going to have is me being cut off from all she they pussy on planet earth. But you know who else didn't get pussy for speaking the truth? Jesus. Something to think about. Don't worry, I'm still making video essays, but the next video will be me taking BuzzFeed quizzes. Okay, bye!